Guys, welcome back to 4 Minutes with 4 Pro, okay? Here's what we're going to talk about today, really quick. How can I train or better myself during this pandemic, during this ammo buying, the price gouging, all this crap that's happening? And there is some price gouging, whether it's from the manufacturer level or local gun shops. And you guys have probably seen that. I don't have to explain it to you. But I want to give you solutions. I hate giving you problems and telling you the bad without giving you a way or trying to find a way to better yourself or help you. Okay? CMMG, I believe, makes these kits. I know other companies do. AR-15, you pull, if it's a direct impingement gun, a standard gun, not a piston gun, put this bolt in your gun. So you take, granted, this is a piston gun, but just to show you, you take your bolt group out of your gun. You take this bolt group, you put it in that gun. You can shoot 22 LR out of here. Why? Why would I do that, Rob? You can't find 5.56, you can't find 2.23. I have seen people selling these boxes for like $170 today. Here's the problem with that. It's $170, these were like 30 bucks six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. Well, sorry dude, that's over with. For right now, I need you to be short. I need you to train. How do I fix that? 22 LR. Well, you get 550 rounds in here. Okay, well at a dollar a round, if they're selling them for like 170 bucks somewhere and you find it, yeah, that sucks. But if you can get it for 50 or 100 or trade a box of ammo, perfect example. Here's a box of Powerball. It's 25 rounds. It was $27 when I bought it. It was even cheaper than that. But somebody might want something you have. Trade it. Try and find someone local. But the bottom line is even if you buy 550 rounds of LR, you can still put one round in one, one round in the other mag, one round in the other mag. And when you're running your plate carrier, you can still get three reloads. One, bang, pull it, pull it out, rack it, run your charging handle, bang. Oh, drop the mag, punt it, change the mags around. Put two or three or four rounds in this one. Put one round in this one. Put 10 rounds in this one. Swap them out, put them in different spots. You will be able to get a ton more reloads in by doing that. Oh, well, you're not running 556. Five, oh, well, you're not running 223. Two, you're shooting a gun, you're bringing up your sights, you're pressing the trigger. Everything is functioning almost the same. Oh, my gun is not working. I have to check it. Oh, it's out of ammo. Drop the magazine, put a magazine in it. You're getting so many reps at all the things that you need to be good at by doing that. Do it, okay? Next thing you can do, get a shot timer. Start doing dry fire around the house. Start doing dry fire around the house. Get a shot timer, set it, walk around, you hear the beep. Pull your gun out, punch it out, get a rep doing that. Do that 20, 30, 40, 50 times. You don't have to shoot to do it, but you're tracking your sights. You're going to master grip. You're feeling for your gun. You're raising your shirt, whatever you have to do. Next thing you could do, get you some snap caps. I don't have any for this right now, but if you have a speed loader and you have a revolver guy, I'm reaching out to you revolver guys. Get yourself a speed loader with some snap caps. Start doing some drills. Start doing reload drills. Take your cylinder down, put your snap caps in them, twist it, pull them out, okay? You can put it together and you can see how fast it takes you to pull the gun up and fire. You get reps, okay? Start cleaning your guns. Why would I tell you to start cleaning your guns, okay? Get you some bore cleaner, get you some gun lube, okay? Maybe you're not really good at tearing your guns down. Maybe you're, you don't really know your guns yet. Pull up a YouTube video. There's so many dudes that have great videos showing you how to clean these things. Maybe you're not good at it, but the more you figure out how these things work, the better you'll be at tearing them down, cleaning them, figuring out what problems are. Had a guy this weekend that found out a connector in his Glock was the reason it was really, really gritty and spongy feeling when he went to rack the slide. Sounds kind of crazy. I didn't think it was the connector. You take the connector out, put the new one in, worked great. Took that one out, put the new or the old connector in, same exact problem. You will learn so much just by thoroughly cleaning your guns, okay? Try something new, try something different, get out there and train. I've been 4Pro, this has been 4Minutes.